Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm uh, I'm trying this whole Facebook Live thing out. Everyone's been telling me that I need to get on it and say some things, so I figure I'd go ahead and try to do some of this uh, social media stuff. But I just kind of wanted to reach out to everybody real quick. I've been on social media, like most of you guys, you probably heard the powerful uh, speech that Jesse Williams gave when he was uh, on BET, and he said some really powerful things. Um. But my question to black America is, what are you going to do about it? You know, a lot of times we get really riled up when, it, when we hear a good speech, we hear a good sermon, it's a good radio interview, it's, we got this and it's that. But a lot of times it doesn't go any further than that. And so the problem in our community, while that speech was very powerful, the question to us as a people is, what are we going to do to change our situation? Um, a lot of times we don't get any further than just talking or just the speech. You know, we get very... Uh, motivated about things and to be to be honest with you the real um, the real problem that we have in our community is that we have no collective action we don't have a plan one of the reasons why I wrote the restore black America book which I actually have here in my hand as you can see it's not just a book it's an action plan if you can see that right there it says six step action plan meaning what are you going to do um, you know, okay, we know the problem now. What's the solution and how do we go about putting that solution out? Okay, it also begs the question of how do you go from motivation to implementation? And the answer is you do it with tools. Somebody has to put something in your hand in order for you to be able to actually make a change. So what I did was I actually wrote a book giving us action steps and then I created the Restore Black America Foundation, which you can see the logo behind me to um, give us the actual tools for us to make a change. It's kind of like if I tell you to change a car, I can give you the best speech on how to change a car, car tire or, or, or I can give you, you know, the best direction of this and that and then you get out there and then you don't have a jack. Maybe it's nighttime and you don't have a flashlight or you, know, you don't have a, a ratchet or a screw or whatever to take the lug nuts off. You don't have the necessary tools to make a change. So I haven't done anything other than just motivate you. Okay, so one thing is I want to encourage you, first of all, to check out the Restore Black America book to sort of get the idea of what the plan is. And then I do want to encourage you to go ahead and support the Restore Black America Foundation. As I said, we're not just going to talk about change. We're going to give it to you. So instead of saying, well, as black people, we need to increase our economic position. No, we actually have an entrepreneur school that you can come to. And when you graduate, you'll have a fully operational business. We're not just going to say, oh, we need to save the youth. No, we have black youth entrepreneur camps. Uh, we talk about, you know, we're the highest rate for um, a, a lot of the health issues that we have going on in our community. Okay, well, we actually have healthy soul food cookbooks and healthy cooking classes. We know that we don't get a fair run in politics. So we actually have polit political leadership schools so that we can teach on politics and we can actually be in a stronger uh, political position. So with any way, I want to just say that because, like I said, I've been watching social media. Everybody's been you know posting memes and all that and one thing that's funny about us is black people will black fist pump you to death you know hey brother right on you know keep doing it you doing the right thing but then when it comes time to donate to something or come time to mobilize and everybody starts scratching their head like uh, you know this and that so i really just going to go ahead and put this challenge out there to everybody let's go ahead and t find something that you can do even if you don't support my organization and i don't even like to call it my organization because it's really an organization for the people but support some organization go in your community and help somebody do something just don't get motivated about a speech and then sit around and you don't have nothing to do with your motivation so with that being said man i wanted to encourage everybody to keep on keeping on when you get the chance go ahead and check out the restore black america book you can go ahead and, and donate to our foundation and um, whether you decide to support us, support yourself, do whatever you got to do to make a change, and I'm out of here. Holla.